My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D, birthday 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll Lynn has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. Amber's posted another video. <laughs> I thought it was going to be... The next one was going to be tomorrow, but uh, nope. And uh, the title is I'm Not Okay, Moving Furniture and Another Way In. Uh, right off the bat, she should not be moving furniture. I'm all about her moving and, you know, burning calories and stuff. But if she throws out her back and uh, she's immobilized, that's the end of her. That is uh, almost a guarantee for blood clots and all kinds of other problems. And um, so, yeah, I'm not okay, of course, clickbait. But uh, let's see what she has to say. Hey, guys. Hey, Amber. Yes, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup and... Um, I just have some dark under eye moments like okay you know you should really consider not putting earrings in before you got your makeup on you know or take your earrings out while you put your makeup on because that's just gross I just am not sleeping so well I will I wonder why and don't tell me it's the breakup it's the lies you tell it's all the troubles that are ailing your soul. I'll say today I was able to get in a nap, which... You you get in a nap in every vlog, because we can tell by your hair. Was much needed, because I really, truly am not sleeping very well, like, at all. Um, I know I'm not helping by myself, by sometimes having caffeine. Like, yesterday I had a little bit more caffeine than usual. Also, the Delta 9 is not helping because, yeah, l watch my last video. Um, I read the side effects. So that probably did not help at all. But uh, taking melatonin does help. So I am grateful for that. Okay, so you take Soloft and Delta 9. You weigh 600 pounds and you overeat on the daily. You must really hate yourself. Literally, I don't even know how it happened, but my um, e.l.f. eyeliner is broke. Completely broke. It Broken. Won't even close. It's cracked. I don't know how it happened because like... Probably got mad at your haters and uh, screwed it on too tight. <laughs> like, I don't throw my makeup bag around. Like... I don't remember sitting on it or stepping on it, so I don't know. Oh, look at your sausage fingers. You probably had too much strength and screwed it on too tight. I don't know what happened, but that's okay. So I woke up just a few hours ago, and I don't know. I wasn't going to vlog today, but I felt compelled to. Like, I just am really enjoying um, talking about that breakup, that mutual breakup. Vlogging a lot. Rarity over here is messing with my Legos. Baby girl, you can't be doing that. I've just been, like, really enjoying a good vlog, so. <laughs> yeah, I would be enjoying a good vlog, but uh, so far I've not been lucky. Um, I love talking to you guys, and it just feels really good. Come on, be real. You just like talking to yourself. I don't know, a part of me feels like maybe I should start uploading every other day. Yes, please. Or, come on, once a week is enough. Just to kind of... I mean, I know you're hard up for money, but this is getting out of hand. <laughs> uh, get ahead of schedule, but um, I have been, like, literally uploading daily. I don't know what I'm doing. And you, you literally have nothing, nothing to vlog. In nothing. 
Um, I'm gonna have some of these coconut strips. They're so good. So good. Like the texture. Okay. They're a little hard because I got them like a week ago. <laughs> okay. I guess they're stale, but <laughs> when they're not stale, the texture is so freaking good. They taste amazing. Why do you keep eating on camera? I do not understand. Clickbaiting with uh, an almost full body uh, shot and eating on camera. Are you, your relatives proud of you, Amber? Do you think they are? And I just have a couple a day. It's lasted me this long. Okay, so hi. Currently in the office. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of moving adventures. Part of the moving adventures. <laughs> um, I want all of like my completed boxes um, and things that are like ready and done and packed to just be in the office. So I can relate. That sounds like a plan. So for a little bit, it's going to be like a storage, just a place for it to get out of the way. Sure. Ready for the movers. I didn't see that coming. Is he actually going to pack boxes? Like this is going to be a, a process <laughs> because like I'm a big procrastinator so i'm gonna do a little bit every single day hey it's better than nothing if you had done this concerning your weight loss journey then you would be skinny by now so like when the time does come i'm just gonna feel stress-free i mean you never feel stress-free you're a drama queen by nature as much as i can be but all of this right here is feline's um these are all her records and stuff like that so I actually want to start packing certain things but this is like the corner I want to start um, piling boxes or whatever it may be yeah let's talk and more doing and, and speed up the video then you know be and um, she suggested uh, that she is fine with moving this we're just gonna move it on the other side of the office where her desk is okay so I'm gonna unplug I'm not wearing pants <laughs> okay so Ew. I'm gonna unplug the record player. I don't know how heavy some of this stuff is. Ever since I was diagnosed with a um, hernia, I found out like you shouldn't like heavy lifts, but I still do it anyway. Hey, might might as well give us an update on the hernia since you mentioned it. What's the update? No update. Okay. Oh, this ain't bad at all. This ain't bad at all. So I'm just going to set it right here to get it out of the way. Oh no. I'm going to put her Lego on her desk. This is that huge ultimate sneaker book I got her for uh, Christmas time. So she has a lot of records, so just to make this thing lighter, I'm going to take the records out. And I'm just going to gently set them on the ground. Okay. I actually love this thing. Um, such a good record player holder. Alright, moment of truth is, how heavy is this guy? Um, eh, it's probably a two person situation type deal but I'm gonna do it myself do not throw out your bag that would be a death sentence to you so I'm just gonna move it to that side of the room oh I got her I got her folks I just lost my earring uh, I'm just gonna take them out no you didn't lose your earring it just fell out I guess that's an English thing I don't get. Okay. Now I got her record player. And now I'm gonna pick up her records and put them back. Ooh, we blurry, we blurry folks. All right, so. Okay, I'm actually liking it. She's moving, you know. 
She's doing stuff. She's changing things. She's working towards something. I'm liking it. Now the corner is free. Of course, Rarity thinks it's her corner now. She's so cute. Um, I guess I could take these down as well. And just sit them up against this for now. The weekend. These are also Feline's, so. Hello, hello. We have a little Trader Joe's moment. Um, so I'm Again? Wasn't there just a three bag haul? Wait. Yup, four days ago, three big bags. Well, she does have to eat a lot to maintain that size. I'm gonna show you what I got. So, some of this is Feline's, so I'm just like taking her stuff and putting it out, but. For me. Wait a minute. If the if you're if you're telling us that part of this is for Leans, then she took you shopping again. You just went four days ago. And you went to Marshall's. I do not understand. I got some more of these. I mean it only it only makes sense in my head if they've been broken up for a while. Because Amber is a nasty person. I mean, if you break up with her, then you do not want to be around her, you know. And so I'm thinking they broke up quite a while back. And so this is the phase where um, YP already dares to come and help her with certain things, you know. But not like f every four days, Jesus. Once a week, maybe, like Destiny did. Coconut macaroons they're honestly so good you are snacking a lot for somebody that's that big huh don't you think um slightly addictive just like the delta 9 and the sugar and the caffeine and the takeout food so i got me some of them i got a bag of these chicken cilantro mini wontons yeah i'm done what is that look my literal favorite thing ever so i haven't really been filming much today oh you took another nap huh you take naps on the daily but hi i'm currently eating my thai uh geizos it exploded in the air fryer amazing um so good it's the same things over and over again except for that with moving furniture I really liked it. Now she's back to a haul, eating and Legos. No, 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 Amber. Okay, so I just slammed my camera against the wall on accident. So this is me testing. Do you still work? <laughs> I sure hope so. Hello. Update. My throat hurts. So what your throat i'm about to google can crying too much make your oh. throat hurt <laughs> the increased effort to expand the throat and the tension created by opposing contractions when talking or swallowing triggers pain and discomfort in the throat you've been flapping too much you need to rest that voice amber yep that's not what i was looking for Oh, common cold, strep throat, tonsillitis. I don't know what it is, but right here in my tonsil, it hurts. And I have not been sick, like with a cold or anything like that in... Or like pneumonia. Freaking ages. In freaking ages, really? Okay. I guess my sense of time must be way off. Sorry have an itch <laughs> okay so today not my day <laughs> um no not my day at all nowhere even close it's not been your year to be honest huh close to it i just feel myself breaking down more and more um as the night goes on and well you should be messing with drugs you know that have an impact on your on your brain that is not a good idea in your situation. 
I am tired of crying. But you've not been crying. You know how I know? Because when you cry, your eyes swell up and they're not swollen. They haven't been swollen. We do have a weigh in to do. So as you guys know, my popsicle sticks that I want to do, that I want to do. I think I'm slot happy because I'm tired. That just means someone who's like super tired. So they're like goofy, loopy. That's how I feel right now. And also it's just like my mentals and my emotionals and my- God, so dumb. The whole nine, it's been through the ringer today. Like at its all time. Then why not shut off the camera and uh, give it a go tomorrow morning? Hi, so I'm just kind of struggling with that. And I've just had a hard time focusing on this vlog today. So I do apologize. Wow, she's such a spoiled brat. I can't believe it. I am so proud of myself for making it through the week without killing anybody at work. <laughs> And she's standing there not doing anything. I mean, if she moved the furniture earlier that day. Okay, so she's she's all kinds of exhausted, right? And she has so much to deal with. And the mutual breakup. And it's so emotional. She sounds like such an entitled biatch. This isn't the greatest vlog in the world. No, they, they haven't been great. Let, let's be real. My day started on a high and it just eventually was like, woo. You know. Maybe you're just getting tired and lay off the Delta 9 for the love of God. So, anyways, um, I did weigh myself today. As you guys know, I want to lose 56 pounds. That is my goal. To get to 499, right? Right? Can you confirm that, Amber? <laughs> so, there's 56 sticks. Each one is numbered. Every pound I lose, I'm going to take one from here, put it here. Okay, how is this a weigh in? I'm not understanding. Each one has a number, and I have questions that you guys have asked me. So, my last one in actually was 524.6, and today I was 522.6. So, that's two pounds down. That is BS. Especially with the full body pics you've been posting. Uh, you can't possibly think that we're gonna buy that you're not in the f at least 550s. I'm thinking close to 600s. But according to your own statement, if you want to lose 56 pounds before moving day, it's kind of an indicator you want to be in the 400s. And so you must be in the 550s. But lying is never a good thing. Amber, come on. Have you not, the, the video I just uh, reacted to, were you not complaining to your haters about not believing you and you putting yourself out there and yada yada? And you're lying your ass off in the subsequent video. I mean, come on. You know, what do you expect? You need to change. The reactions will change. 522, my butt. So that means we're picking two of these. So okay. one and two. All right. So I'm going to put this on the side here. Oh, wow. That's weird. <laughs> so we're going to do the first question and put that guy in there. Where do you physically notice weight loss first? She wouldn't know. How would she know? Who asked that question? Usually my face. Like, my cheeks will definitely get smaller. This part's less puffy. Um, I will lose some of this and like, some of this like neck fat. So that's where I notice it first. Neck Whatever. Next one is 52. Why do you think haters ignore the number one symptom of severe lipedema? So actually, when someone asked me that question on Instagram, they asked me it in a message on Instagram and they went a little more into detail saying how they also have lipedema and that they have a very severe case and no matter how much they diet, they- Did anyone see these questions on Instagram or did she write them herself? They can't lose weight and they also see a specialist who says that the number one symptom is weight gain even as much as you try to lose the weight so i think the haters <laughs> choose to ignore that what okay amber i know you're not uh, the sharpest tool in the shed right but you've been telling us that you've been not overeating you didn't use that word but you've been ordering uh, ordering out um, ordering takeout food and you've been snacking the macaron runs and everything i mean come on right you've been drinking sodies 
and you haven't gotten good sleep so why are we back to this again you gotta give your body a chance you gotta move around more and you gotta reduce your caloric intake that's all there is to it but as long as you abuse your body like this none of your body parts have any chance of losing any weight point blank and choose to think that I just need 3,000 calories to lose weight and all this like crazy stuff is because they don't have the knowledge in lipedema. And I feel like there's a large group of people that like... Even okay, now you're being condescending again and you think you know more than all of us out here and you do not. If you actually moved around as much as you've said that you have, I mean, recently you've admitted, you know, laying in bed, can't get up, so depressed, blah, 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 right? Um, but if you actually moved around a lot, or let's say if you went swimming, like swimming is very good for limp, limp, limp edema, lymphedema, it's for good for edema. Because the water pressure pushes the water back into the veins and transports it out of the body, you know? Um, you would know that if you knew anything about what you're talking about here, but hey. Uh, Even if they did have the knowledge, they don't care. And it's like... No, but you don't care. You don't care. I have an illness. I have a disease, which is lipedema. You can hide. You can try to hide behind it all you want. But if you never put any... You, you see, your body is listening to you. Every cell in your body is listening to you saying this. And your body's like, if your body could talk right now, it would say, give me a fighting chance. Try to not overeat every single day. Oh, what's with the sodies? How am I supposed to deal with that? You know, but you're making it sound like you're doing everything and uh, your body's just not cooperating. That is not correct. Which is causing my weight loss to happen very slow. And even Where's the weight loss? What weight loss? Gaining a couple of pounds, losing a couple of pounds, that's, that's you overeating and then taking a dump. What is going on in your head? You're still taking that Delta 9, aren't you? Even with that reason, which it's not an excuse, it's a reason. No, honey bun, it's it's an excuse. For somebody that's been gaining weight for nine and a half years, it's an excuse. You need to get real and you need to get serious about this. It's a biological reason. They don't want to believe it. Okay, you need to stop flapping about it or I'm going to cut you off. They don't want to accept it because they just like believing and accepting. Yeah, we're almost at the end. Few more seconds. Anything that is the opposite of what I share. Anyways, I am going to end this video. This is probably a shorty, but that's okay. I appreciate it. Bye bye, Amber. Bye bye. All right, you guys, I just did the other video, and so I'm going to cut this short. Um, nothing new to report. I liked how she uh, moved the furniture. Even though I don't understand why she has to comment everything to... Um, to where we know what she's doing even though we can see her maybe she's not aware of that otherwise she wouldn't try to tell us that she's losing weight but um yeah let's see where things are gonna take us um thank you for listening to this and i'll see you in my next one have a great weekend guys hopefully she'll give us a day or two off huh we'll see all right bye